This is a guide to installing and configuring the Ubuntu Auth authentication library for CodeIgniter. I will be starting with a mostly clean install of CodeIgniter, but I have set up session handling and configured CodeIgniter to use the database for session data. Before you start, you should do the same. Ensure that you have completed the following tasks per the documentation of the session class in the CodeIgniter user guide. Set an encryption key in the config.php. Configure a database in the database.php. Set session use database to true in config.php. And create the CI sessions table in your database. You can also find a video detailing these steps on the Apunto Auth website. Once these tasks are completed, our first step is to download Apunto Auth. You can find this on the Apunto Auth website or download the latest build at GitHub. I have downloaded and uncompressed the zip file and see that it contains four directories application, db, resources, and source. I will copy two of these directories, application and resources, into my application's main directory. Now we can add the library file to the autoload.php file in CodeIgniter's config directory. CodeIgniter will be calling a method in this library in a hook, so it will be needed in every controller. Therefore, there is no reason to load it in your individual controllers rather than in the autoload file. Next, I'm going to import the SQL file in the DB directory into my database. Now let's pop over to phpMyAdmin to check our import. And our new tables have been created. I did that import at the command line, but you could just as easily copy the SQL file and paste it into the query window. At this point we should be able to bring up the admin interface. We'll add our index.php because we haven't removed that yet and it is located at apunto auth forward slash ui forward slash admin now we can see from the status page that no authentication is currently being performed but before we turn it on we want to set up an admin user with permission to access this interface so let's click over to users and we'll click the Add User button. We'll call our user Admin. And save them. Next, we'll set up an admin permission. and we'll go over to paths we can see we found new paths we have our welcome controller with one method and then we also have the UI controller which controls the admin interface for Ubuntu Auth we'll click on this and we will set the permission to administrator we'll also go to the user controller and set these methods to public Now let's go back to users and we will grant our admin user the administrator permission. Now we are ready to add the hook that performs user authentication. The easiest way to do this is to copy it from the readme at GitHub and paste it into the hooks.php in the config directory.
The hook code is not included in the download because CodeIgniter only has one hooks file and I wouldn't want to overwrite any other hooks you might be using. Now we can go into the config.php and enable hooks. Apunto Auth has now been installed, configured, and enabled. If we go back to our web browser and attempt to reload this page, we are going to be redirected to a login page. We'll attempt to log in as the administrator user we configured earlier. And as we log in and are redirected to our default welcome controller, we receive the not authorized message, which tells us that although we are logged in, we do not have the necessary permission to view the requested path. The index method of the welcome controller is currently marked as private, but it has no permission set, so it is essentially inaccessible. But luckily our admin interface is accessible, so we can fix that. We'll just go over to Paths, highlight the Welcome Controller, and mark the Index function as public. It should now be accessible. And so it is. In this video we've seen how to install and configure a Punto Auth but I encourage you to read the README file and watch some of the other videos for a more comprehensive understanding of its features and how to use them. I hope you may find it useful when constructing your next CodeIgniter application.